Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over saving your files in Photoshop. As you can see, I have a Photoshop file open and it is a single layer image. When I go to do my save as by either going to the main menu and choosing file save as or using my keyboard shortcut control shift S in the save as window, I can use the save as type drop down to change the format from JPEG or PSD to any of the other formats. Now this will change when my image has multiple layers. So if I take this image and I duplicate this background layer with my keyboard shortcut control J and now do my control shift S to do save as, You'll notice from the Save As Type dropdown that the list of options has decreased dramatically. I'm able to basically save this as a Photoshop format or as a TIFF format, which isn't bad because these are lossless formats. So if I were to save this as a new Photoshop file and save, I will be shown the maximize compatibility window. Basically, you always want to leave this engaged so that earlier versions of Photoshop would still be able to recognize the PSD extension and open your files. This is going to become really important as we continue to get updates as our application is now cloud-based and updates on an annual basis. I want to make sure that I can open my older files without problem. Now, if you get tired of seeing this pop up, you are always free to click the don't show again before you tap OK. And that way the system will remember your choice. Now, if I am working with a multi-layered Photoshop file and I want to save it out as a JPEG or PNG, I can no longer do the file save as. Of course, I could flatten the image and then do a save as, but for most applications, I'm going to want to export the image. And to export the image, I'm going to go to File in the main menu and come down and look for Export. You will notice that there is a quick export as PNG in my case, and that is defined in the preferences as to what is the default format for the images when I use that quick export. If I'd like to change it, I can look at the export preferences and in the export or and in the preferences window, I'm going to be looking at the export category and you can change the format right there. So if I switch this to PNG, I can set my quality and I would always opt for the higher quality JPEGs. If I'm using a PNG, I'm going to definitely want to engage transparency, and I will not want to engage the smaller file size of 8-bit. But if I want it to now save it out as a JPEG, when I go to File and I choose Export, I'm going to use Export As, and then I can change my format in the upper right corner of the form in the upper right corner of the Save As window, and I can change the format to any of the others. I can set my quality, I can adjust my file size, canvas size, I can make some final adjustments before I finally tap Export, which will open a new Save As window, and I can then define where I'd like to save my file. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And you can also find us on social media. If you would like to learn more about the Computer Workshop and see what classes we have coming up, please feel free to visit us at www.tcworkshop.com. Until next time, take care for now.